That was a tough game. And Florida Atlantic, I want to give them so much credit. Um, they're tough. Uh, they physically felt like an ACC team. Um, certainly the physicality on the perimeter was something that we hadn't seen yet this year. Um, and they had some some nice size, but I think that that you know our commitment to the glass with this young lady right here um, was incredible. Our bench, um, 42 points from the bench matched FAU's total output, and uh, I thought our some huge numbers off the bench. The Shade Dwyer, she, we're up 30. She was plus 30. Um, Jazz was plus 21. You know, and we had really really big time performances. And then we had a couple people like. Destiny and Haley, who probably thought they were struggling a little bit, but they were plus 24 when they were in. So that's just the leadership that you have, and the production comes wherever the other team is, you know, allowing us to produce. So, but um, Z Z is a walking double double. We we are not surprised. We've seen it every day in practice. But I think she just had a game where the team really needed her, and and she completely stepped up. So, but Florida Atlantic has done a great job. Um, they got good veterans. Uh, their newcomers are real physical, and they didn't back down. And it was a really good challenge for us. Well, first of all, welcome back, Katie. Thank you. Um, I, I just have to ask, because we haven't seen you, and I haven't seen you in three games, um, how difficult was it for you to, to be away from yeah. the team? You are so connected with this team. How oh. hard was that? Yeah, it was hard. It was really hard, and I think they've been so amazing um, in my absence, and Coach Fitz, but the entire staff. I mean, everybody had to just slide one step up and, and do Herculean effort. Um, and the team is very tight. This team is very close, and... Uh, they are, um, you know, you can be challenged or threatened, and I think that they chose to be challenged. And instead of getting small and, and hiding in the corner, they, they rose up and they expanded, and, they, and I asked them to have warriors, you know, play with a warrior's heart um, when, it, when you're challenged, and um, they did tonight. So um, they've done that um, for four games now. What, through four games, what do you what do you know about your team now? I mean, they, obviously they can score. You had, I think, ten different players scored tonight. Yeah, you know what it is? It's that um, there's a lot of faith, right? Um, we we put a lot of trust in in someone. It's not like someone goes in and and then we think, oh, that's bad. You know, they go in and we change. But there's a, there's always an opportunity. There's something really good about everybody who goes in. Um, and so I think um, you know you know we're gonna have tougher games as the season progresses, but um, everybody comes in and they're, they're ready to, to do what Miami needs. And this is a very, very unselfish team. Kyle, do this, share the ball. I mean, if we had hit some of those threes in the first half, we would have had 25 assists. I yeah. thought we really moved the ball very well. But our legs, yeah. Yeah, our legs were a little, a little gone. I mean, that's four, four games in how many days? Yeah, yeah, it's it's been yeah, it's like eleven. Yeah, so that's hard. I know they haven't you know they they have an off day tomorrow, and that's the loudest cheer you had in the locker room. Is that yay? Have an off day. Zeke, can you just talk about you know how you felt tonight and what's been the biggest adjustment for you to college? Although you looked fully adjusted tonight, but um, I feel like I just played like I just I was just so free on the court. Like I wasn't in my head. Like I'm usually in my head when I play. But it's like today I just feel so free, like I just need to come up for my team. And it's like it's been a challenge, like, because I'm usually like an overthinker. So it's like it's hard for me to get through that patch. But today I just like I just wanted it for the team, like everything what was I did. Different? What do you think was different in your mindset today that, that, that made you just, you know, unload all of that worry and whatever you were dealing with? I was focused. I was very focused. Like I knew what I wanted when I got on the court. I knew I was like I'm going to do everything for my team, like. They they need me right now, and I just stepped up. And how good was it to have Katie back on the side? Amazing. Her energy. It was amazing, but we also have a great coaching staff at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you what have you learned about your team through the first four games? I mean, you're undefeated four games heading to Chicago. What what have you learned about this team over the, these four games? Um, we have great chemistry. Like we we shared the ball well, like Katie said. Um, we just want it very bad. Like we very competitive. Like we gonna go at each other's necks in practice. We're gonna go at each other's necks like like every day. Like we working. Always working. We always in the gym and we're gonna do everything we can to win. I wanna ask you also how did you end up at Miami? You had other options of places, good places you could have gone. What was it about the Hurricanes program that brought you here? The staff, like the players. I just I just love the area. I love how family orientated they really are like they really care about you like and 
it was like really showed me a lot, like really opened my eyes. Did it, was it different from, because you know, everyone when they're recruiting you, you know, says how great you are and all that stuff. What is it about the hurricane staff that, that drew you here? They, yeah, they, they did tell me, but at the, at the same time they showed me that they care about me and that's what made it different. And how do you like Miami just as a city? I love it. Compared to where you're from. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Katie, I guess one last thing yep. just about Z. What was it that attracted you to her, you know, as a recruit? <laughs> you know, I mean, she's just a beautiful athlete, but it's just getting to know her, you know, and her, her and her family and her real strong mom. And um, But it was just her spirit. Um, she was just always so open and curious and, and seeking greatness. You know, she's... She's a very, very highly rated recruit um, that isn't expecting or demanding or she's not entitled at all. She is curious and she, she knows that she can be this good. She knows she's, she's right and she wants to live in the gap. She wants to live in the gap between where she is right now and where she wants to be. And, and um, that, I mean, as good as she is, that's a very rare quality these days that when you say to somebody, hey, um, this is what I think you need to work on, and that's when you have their attention. You know, not this is what you're already great at, but this is where we're going to develop you. That's where she really emerged, and I thought, wow, she's going to be an All-American.